Now, one thing that was refreshing is that Harry was there, but mm. he didn't seem to distract from the whole occasion. Mm. Proceedings, yes. I think that mm. that always had the possibility, mm. but I think it probably worked out quite well, don't you? I think it did. I mean, even... I, I have to say that we talked about the regret, and he, he must be, although I think he does a very good job of trying to hide mm. it. He sort of came across as a bit cocky mm. as he walked um, along the aisle and sort of, I hi there. he had to be, though, didn't yeah, he? Had, he had <laughs> to, like, let's be honest. Absolutely. He had to put on, his, uh, put on his game face. But, I mean, going back to the outfit that he wore, I mean, Dior have tweeted that. He wore mm. one of their suits. So, Clearly, he's condoned that as well. Yeah. But also, why didn't he wear a British designer? Exactly. And moreover, why didn't he wear an upcoming British designer whose fortune would have been sealed by having Prince Harry wear his suit mm. to the coronation? Instead, he's gone for very Dior. Good point. Mm. That's a so. very, the French of all Exactly. Well, why not British <laughs> label? <laughs> Savile Row, you know, anything would have totally, been Totally, yeah. totally. Now, uh, Jenna, Harry walked in yesterday mm -hmm. on his own, which <laughs> really kind of stood out. He took his seat in the third row behind Prince Anne's mm -hmm. stunning headwear there. <laughs> um, now, this is how he was described by one observer on Twitter mm -hmm. using an Aussie rules analogy, which I love. Yeah. This has very former premiership player who defected to Crosstown Rivals for more money <laughs> show up for the 10-year flag reunion vibes. Is there a better way that that could have been described? I have been racking my brain. It's got big Wayne Carey before he was Carey <laughs> Energy going back to North Melbourne. I'm yeah, sorry, yeah. I've gone very niche, but it's very, it's very much that. Glenarch but again, era. if you know, you know. If you know, you know. I look that uh, whoever said that, I think you you are the best on ground because I think it's absolutely fantastic. I, but I've got to say something controversial. I miss Meg. I miss, I don't know why, there was enough drama there yesterday, but I just sort of missed that she just would have been that extra element of, I don't know, panache. But don't you think their okay, currency, okay. can't you see their currency ebbing before yeah. our very eyes? The fact that he was largely irrelevant, I mean, it would have made much difference. Oh, if, they're tanking not... like a critical mineral that no one's heard of. Yeah. But it's, um, <laughs> it's, I just think that she would have, I, I think maybe because I'm just so superficial, I just would have loved to have seen what she wore, how she you know, carried herself and, you know, the, the crowd's response would have been very interesting. Yes, I think that's what she was afraid of. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> that would have been epic. Mm. Um, now, I'm unashamedly... Team Princess Anne. Oh, <laughs> she was Absolutely. just so good. Her role in the mm. procession, she was just beaming. Mm. Gosh, she held her own, didn't she? Mm. Absolutely. And mm. look, I'm not surprised if anyone can be rel relied upon to mm. be oh. traditional and to be serene and to do what's required at all costs. It's Princess Anne, to your point earlier, mm. basically being her brother's bodyguard as the new king. Um, in the procession, so yeah, she was she was terrific, and I think um, just did it with that sort of no nonsense attitude. It wasn't, the spotlight was not on her, but it was on her in yeah. a way. So we, I think, there's a new admiration for Anne, definitely. Mm. That no nonsense attitude, um, I think, is a really good point. Mm. I loved her. I think she's actually a great role model. Absolutely, and she's got that really mm. elegant, no BS way about mm. her, yeah. uh, and even the interview that she did earlier in the week um, was magnificent and I loved the leader bottle of gin sitting next to her. I was <laughs> yeah. like, well played. But, yeah. but she, she really is someone who we don't generally think about when we talk about role models, but she is. I think it's because she's not very visible, specifically mm. here in Australia. I know that she came out recently and she toured um, at the Royal Easter Show in Sydney, but she is one of the hardest working royals yeah, and that isn't, you know, an oxymoron. They do go out, they do press mm. the flesh to these, you know, very small niche events. They shake a lot of hands, there's a lot of small talk. But she's like something like 900 events a year without cameras and without the public kudos. Without cameras, and I yeah. think that's, I think you just, we should, she, I think that that's why the modern monarchy is going to be such... A, it's going to be a really beautiful type of pavlova. There's mm. layer upon layer of experience, personality and an approach. And I think that that's what... And, and Queen Anne, she will be the sponge at the bottom of that. Yeah, she... Queen I Anne, think I she's... Mean, my Freudian slip. Queen yeah, no. <laughs> she has... And I didn't even realise it was a mistake. <laughs> that's how, like, I agree with, it. Yeah. Board with that. Yeah. Now, Louise, we've talked a lot about the royal kids. Mm -hmm. We've talked about them... You know, are they going to go? Are they not going to go? Are they going to be involved? What are they going to do? There are a few cheeky moments, but I think overall they were really well behaved and I think they really added to it in the end, particularly Prince George. Well, that, yeah, Prince George as a page boy, just terrific as mm. well. And I think like any um, family event, it's the children that make it, yeah. really. And there was Louis sort of with his double wave. Oh, he was so cute. <laughs> so cute from the carriage and stuff and sort of with him sort of asking him to sit down, et cetera, et cetera. But, and also Charlotte, just, you know, the model image of her mother 
and that beautiful bespoke outfit as well. So, look, a lot of training goes into these kids, let's face it. Yeah. They're not just three Huge. children plucked out of Sydney <laughs> and put into a royal procession. But, <laughs> honestly, they're, they're regal, they're respectful um, and they were a bit humble as well. You didn't sort of get that um, elitist sort of vibe from them. They were very much there for their father and, of course, for their um, beloved pa. But even so, getting a four-year-old like that focused, like, that takes some doing. Oh, yeah, three kids under 10 to behave oh, like that. Incredible. Oh. I don't know anyone's ever done that with their children. Yeah, no, Certainly not me. <laughs> they, would, they would be copped yeah. a lot of refined sugar this week. That's yeah, oh, yes. yes. That, and they're going to have a great Christmas. <laughs> yeah. They are going to have a brilliant Christmas. Um, May's not too early to start <laughs> yeah. promising. No, absolutely <laughs> not.